Bubble Junior High School Band is in the direction of Mr. Carlos Aguero. Take it away, guys. Now, if you were just listening to the music without seeing it in person, you would never imagine that's a junior high school band. Aren't they just fabulous? <laughs> hey, now, all the elementary kids that like doing music, look what you have to look forward to coming in junior high school and our high school. So, uh, Bogle, thanks for setting the stage for us. We're going to help them clear the stage, and then we're going to begin the program in about two or three minutes, okay? At this time, we'd like to please ask you to rise for the presentation of colors by the Hamilton High School Air Force Junior ROTC and remain standing while Basha High School Chamber Choir uh, Noteworthy sings our national anthem. Oh. 
Stripes and bright stars through the perilous fights, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave through. The Hamilton ROTC is under the direction of Master Sergeant Fred Driver and what talented vocalists we have from Basha High School. That program is under the direction of Robin Imans. I'm Terry Locke, Director of Community Relations. I want to welcome everyone to tonight's uh, night of recognition. It's been a long time. We're so glad to be back in this atmosphere. We're going to kick things off this afternoon by having uh, our superintendent, Frank Nucci come forward to share a few uh, welcoming comments. Now, Frank, this is his 26th year in the district. He began as a principal at a, at a couple of elementary schools and junior high school. Later became a director of community ed, assistant superintendent for a number of years. He was an interim superintendent for a short time, and now he's the full-time superintendent. We couldn't be happier about it. So please give us a warm, big warm welcome to Frank Narducci. Thank you, we're back. This is wonderful, right? Not only are we back, but we're strong, we achieve, we're Chandler Unified School District. I'm Frank Narducci, as Terry Locke said, and I have the privilege and honor of serving as superintendent for Chandler Unified School District and serving our 44,600 students. I'm pleased to report that after two year absence due to the pandemic, our night of recognition is back. We've missed this opportunity to recognize so many talented students, volunteers, and staff, and we are excited to make up for lost time this evening. Tonight, we will recognize one student, one volunteer and staff member from each of our schools, and include coworkers from our support buildings. We have so many special people in our district, for you to be selected to represent your site is very, is very, very impressive. Tonight, the governing board pays tribute to your commitment to our schools and our community as a whole, which make us stronger. I would like to invite the governing board to join me on stage for tonight's recognition. They are President Barbara Mazdin, <laughs> Vice President Jason Olive, and board member Laura, Laura Bruner. <laughs> board members Lindsay Love and Joel Worth could not be with us this evening. We hope that you sincerely enjoy the evening. If you've enjoyed it, please email me. If you don't enjoy it, please email Terry Locke. <laughs> Congratulations on your achievement for making us so proud. 
You are the reason COSD is rated the best district in the state by Niche and Arizona's number one employer rated this year by Forbes magazine. I want to thank each and every one of you in this room because you're a part of what makes us great. I'm going to turn this over right now because you didn't come here tonight to hear me. You came here to see our kids, our volunteers, and our special staff. I'll turn it over right now to Terry Locke to lead us through our recognition. Thank you, Frank. I'm going to ask our assistant superintendents and executive directors to join me the two stairs. Your job tonight is keep them from falling. That's an extremely important job. Our crew from the far right here, we have Frank Narducci, Craig, Dr. Craig Gilbert, we have uh, Dan Serrano, we have Leo Schleter. Lana, do you want to come and join us? Lana and uh, Lana Berry, our CFO. Wendy Nance, Director of HR. Oh, where's Frank Fletcher? Yeah, Frank Fletcher's over here. Yep. You must want to join us? Well, let's have some fun, shall we? Yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do tonight, just stay organized, because we got a lot of program ahead of us. We're going to have all the students, you're going to watch the students, what the students do, the volunteers and our staff will follow up. We're going to have all the students line up, uh, would you guys wave over there? Kimberly, she's going to line you up in alphabetical order by school. And you're going to come across the stage, so you're going to come up those stairs, come down these stairs, and then all of our recipients tonight will go over here to see Ernest, and he's going to take pictures of everybody. Uh, staff, volunteers, as well as the students. So without further ado, let's have all the student winners come to the front of the stage, front right for you. Can the board just fill the energy tonight? It's like we never missed a beat, did we? It's fantastic. Okay, and let's go ahead and start with the student recognition. So when Anderson Elementary's representative gets here, you come straight to the front stage. So Alana Martinez, come forward while everybody else is lining up. When you get lined up. When Alana Martinez from Anderson Elementary is ready, come on up to the front of the stage and shake the hands of the school board and superintendent. Lana, you get to be first. This is fa fantastic. <laughs> Alana has been a responsible, hardworking girl since first grade. Alana joined student council in fourth grade, came to every single meeting, was prepared, participated, and wasn't afraid to take risks. She is now the student council president and is leading the uh, club members to be more present on campus. Congratulations, Alana. <laughs> Dr. Gilbert will show you the way. Over photographs. Tania Rooks is next from Anderson Junior High School. Shania always brings a positive attitude towards learning into the Anderson Junior High School classrooms. She walks around campus with her head held high and a smile on her face, just like she's doing right now. As a cheerleader, she's set at every home game, cheering on her peers. She balances honors classes, athletics, and a positive social life. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Blake Inwiller from Arizona College Prep High School. Blake is the president <laughs> of the math club, a member of speech and debate, as well as other activities. He is a leader in his math classroom as his peers lean on him to help. He is driven to be the best and has always a bright future ahead of him. He is extremely sophisticated and his work is always done impeccably. Congratulations, Blake. Supine Shaw from Arizona College Prep Middle School. <clears throat> In the classroom, Supine is a student who understands hard work and integrity. 
He does his best every day, taking the time to do his work thoroughly. He's organized and efficient and uses his time well. Souvené is quick to help others and explains concepts to his peers very patiently. Thank you. Congratulations. Next is Campbell Nelnoche from Oxier Elementary School. <laughs> Campbell was chosen for this award for her academic excellence as well as her strong leadership qualities. Campbell is a kind, thoughtful, and positive person. She comes to school prepared and ready to learn. In addition, she works well with her peers. She's a frequent, she has a friendly personality as well. Congratulations, Campbell. Okay, next is Sophia Preciado from Basha Accelerated Middle School. <laughs> Sophia is involved in many things on campus, from theater to National Junior Honor Society to an officer and student council. She's becoming an amazing student leader on campus and always is a positive role model for her classmates, both for older high schoolers and younger middle school students. Congratulations, Sophia. Next is Lainey Birch from Basha Elementary. Now, Lainey goes beyond uh, be one of the uh, kinder morning program's helpers. She takes the time to get to know each kindergartner and, she, and the students in the specialized classrooms. She talks to them and listens to their likes and dislikes. She learns each child's name and treats them with love and respect. Congratulations, Lainey. Next is Isabel Madrid from Basha High School. Not here? Okay. Next is Kylie Miller from Bogle Junior High School. <laughs> Kylie wor uh, walks through life with a smile on her face despite personal obstacles. She's a member of Bogle Student Council, National Junior Honor Society, Student Council, and Choir. She earns all A's in her rigorous Bogle Junior High School uh, grit program. She can always see Kylie volunteer her time to help her fellow classmates as well. Congratulations, Kylie. <laughs> Luana Funes Chiotti from uh, Bologna Elementary, please come forward. <laughs> yeah, she's coming up. Luana is an exceptional student and great role model for her classmates. Luana is a serious orchestra student and serves as secretary of the student council this year. She's dedicated and always be counted on to be prepared for her class. Bologna staff very proud of Luana's accomplishments. Next is Andrew Linford from Carlson Elementary. Andrew is a classroom leader in respect, responsibility, kindness and citizenship and trustworthiness. As a member of the Carlson Student Council, he encourages input from his classes that he serves. Andrew seems to be uh, live and in an internal code of conduct, often demonstrating each character trait without being reminded. Congratulations, Andrew. Uh, Liam Dunn from Castile High School is next. Liam, come forward. Liam is not only a tremendous helper as a counseling aide, but his positivity and friendliness is a breath of fresh air. He's always eager to help and checks in daily with the counseling department to see if there is anything else he can assist with. He's compassionate and kind to students coming into the offices, and they're always so uh, fortunate to have him at Castile. Congratulations, Liam. <laughs> Next is McKenna Williams from Castile Junior High School. We have seventh and eighth grade at Castile High School. We'd like to recognize the uh, kids at the uh, junior high level. McKenna is one of the nicest students. She is polite and friendly to everyone and tries to make everyone feel welcome at Castile. She's part of the Colt Connection, which shows new students around and introduces them to others so they can start making connections and feeling comfortable at Castile. Congratulations, McKenna. Eliana Rivera from Chandler Early College is next. Yeah. 
Eliana is an ex uh, excellent choice for the Superintendent's Award. She's diligent with her work and is a leader at CEC. Eliana has been an exceptional student at the school since 2020. She excels in her academics and goes beyond uh, the coursework requirements. Eliana, congratulations. Next is Luis Reyes Martinez from Chandler High School. Got a home game. Is Luis here? No. Okay. Luis is an exceptional student in drawing. Yeah, yeah, drawing one class, his teacher is proud of all he has accomplished this semester. Luis never gives up and it always has the most positive attitude. Drawing is difficult for him, but he loves it and he listens to the teacher feedback and genuinely tries to improve. Look at his self-portrait is one of the favorites in his class. Congratulations. Freddie Mania Para from Chandler Learning Center, please come forward. Freddie has worked very hard this year to keep calm in difficult situations. He completes his work and uses calming strategies he's learned to help himself succeed. Freddie puts the flag on the flagpole daily. He also takes the flag down on the pole at the end of the day as well. He takes his job very seriously and takes care of the flag during transit to and from the building each day. Thank you so much, Freddie. Next, from Chandler Online Academy, Delaney Van Zoidum. Please come forward. Delaney is a model student, a natural leader, has great character, and a personal focus on kindness and inclusion. She's very responsible, always having her work done on time, and puts forth maximum effort into every assignment. Congratulations, Delaney. Okay, Elena Bell, we've not forgotten about you. Chandler Online Academy, Elementary Connect. Elena Bell, please come forward. Elena is... Alana is the definition of excellent character. She has been nominated for every character award that the school offers. She's the epitome of excellence in all that she does and says. Alana leads through her excellent examples as a kind word for everyone she meets. Congratulations, Alana. Kamal Arafi from Conley Elementary. While living through a global pandemic, it's important to notice the good in the world. The sunshine, instead of focusing on the negative, Kamal is the sunshine of the entire sixth grade. He celebrates everyone's accomplishments, both big and small, in his sweet and special nonverbal way of smiling and clapping for his peers. Kamal's genuinely happy countenance and laugh are contagious and made him an amazing positive impact on the classroom environment. Uh. Let's hear it for Kamal. Another wonderful choice. Addison Cathcart is next from CTA Freedom. Now Addison is an exemplary sixth grade role model. She works hard in all areas of school and applies her best 100% of the time, whether it's academics or on the student council as secretary, by the way. Addison is willing to help any classmate who needs help and is always willing to include others. Congratulations, Addison. Next is William Jansen from CTA Goodman. Now, William deserves this award because of his excellent grades, 
participation in student council, achievements in sports, and inclusiveness of the classmates and peers. He's an excellent and well-rounded student who proves day and day after that he can include and get along with anybody. He cares about his classmates in his school, volunteering for student council, and picking up trash from school grounds daily. Congratulations, William. Gabriella Baudry is not here from CTA Humphrey today. So next is Riley Bates from CTA Independence. <laughs> Riley is a well-rounded, talented, attentive, thoughtful, and hardworking sixth grader at CTA Independence. Riley has been attending CTA Independence since 2016 as a kindergartner and has been a true hawk, exhibiting her commitment to excellence throughout each year. As a sixth grader, Riley shows kindness and compassion to students at school in all grade levels. Congratulations. <laughs> Leona Hull from CTA Liberty, please come forward, Leona. <laughs> Leona is an exceptional young person, arriving each day with a smile on her face, has kind words to share with everyone she encounters. Her gentle spirit and lively laugh are contagious elements of her personality. She embraces every aspect of leadership and her mature sense of uh, purpose makes her an outstanding sixth grade student. Next is Emma Busby from Elite Performance Academy. Emma is a hardworking, responsible, friendly, kind, outgoing, and involved in the student council. She excels academically, is involved in improving the school community, and is always engaged as an active participant in class. And by the way, the Elite Performance Academy caters to folks that are, uh, that are uh, competitively involved. Um, Emma is a competitive ice skater. Congratulations. <laughs> Miguel Xavier Contreras from Fry Elementary. <laughs> Now, Xavier has been a role model for all seven of his years at Frey Elementary. He's an excellent student, takes school seriously, and is very personable to all his friends and teachers. Xavier has always been very involved at school, and is currently the student council officer, a member of the running club, and plays the saxophone in the band. Congratulations. Jake Rola from Fulton Elementary is next. Jake consistently exhibits excellent behavior and is a positive role model for others. He's always respectful and responsible. Jake has a genuine appreciation for others, always encouraging others to succeed. He's a natural leader with a lighthearted, fun personality. Jake Roloff is well deserving of this great honor. Congratulations. Next is Sophia Martinez from Galveston. Sophia is a kind, respectful, and encouraging of every student and teacher that she interacts with at Galveston. She's always willing to help another student in class or help a teacher with any task around the classroom. Sophia shows up to school with a smile on her face and a positive attitude that is contagious. <laughs> Ashlyn Dunning from Haley Elementary School is next. Ashlyn is an incredible, bright, well-rounded young lady. She's organized, hardworking, polite, and a student you can count on at, with any task. While maintaining uh, commendable grades and earning her way on the principal's list each quarter, she's also able to balance and excel in the following extracurricular activities. Student council, cheer, choir, and drama club. Congratulations, Ashlyn. <laughs> Christopher Luo from Hamilton High School. So Christopher is an outstanding student, but more importantly, he's an exceptional person. He cares about others and has given his time and effort to make sure the staff at Hamilton High School remain safe and healthy during the pandemic. Christopher uh, designed a UV mask sanitation device and raised funds that all staff members could have their own personal device. Congratulations, Christopher. <laughs> Next is Sean Donnelly from Hancock Elementary. <laughs> Sean takes the time daily to greet, smile, and talk to others. When other staff members see him on campus, they can't help but say such nice things about him. 
Not only is Sean kind, but he's also a hard worker. He tries his best in class and always puts forward the very best effort to grow as a student. Congratulations, Sean. From Hartford, Sylvia and Cenas, Nathalie Casillas Dominguez. Please come forward. <clears throat> Nathalie is on the SPIRIT team at school and a consistent honor roll student. She has great attendance and her high grades reflect her effort and hard work. Nathalie is incredibly responsible and is always striving to do her very best work. She's kind and considerate to her peers and works well with any group of students. <laughs> Sebastian Marshall from Hill Learning Academy, ICANN. Sebastian, come forward. <clears throat> So moving to a school in another state is hard. It's even harder your senior year of high school. But Sebastian took that battle in stride. He's an exemplary student who has worked hard to complete his classes early and without complaint. His demeanor is always pleasant and he's easy to work with and give directions to. The staff at ICANN appreciate his perseverance and positive outlook. <laughs> Next is David Keck from Hell Elementary. Dave is an excellent student who strives to do his best at everything he's faced with and does so with a smile on his face. His kindness is infectious. His work ethic is exemplary and his obvious love for learning is admirable. Congratulations, David. <laughs> Nolan Ray from Jacobson Elementary is next. Nolan is the very definition of a driven and ambitious student. He's responsible both inside and outside the school and works hard to stay on top of his schoolwork and extracurricular activities. Not only is Nolan a positive role model to all of his peers, but he also can be seen helping others with patience and kindness. <laughs> Riley Kashima from Knox Gifted Academy could not be here tonight, so next is Riley Schwanenberger from Neverett Elementary. Riley is described as an amazing young lady, an ambassador at Navarrete Elementary. She gives 100% academically, a millionaire reader, and is a, always on the principal's list for achieving straight A's. Most importantly, she's a friend to everyone. Riley actively seeks out students who need a hug or a smile and, or a listening ear. Congratulations, Riley. <laughs> From Patterson Elementary, Kaylin Messog. Kaden. Kaylin. Kaylin is an extraordinary student who goes above and beyond in all that she does. She's a hard worker, a friend to everyone, and is always looking for ways to help. Patterson is a be kind school, and Kaylin exudes every single uh, be kind trait each month and every day. She makes others want to be the best that they can be. Congratulations, Kaylin. <laughs> Next is Harper Stevens from Payne Junior High School. Harper is a motivated, hardworking, enthusiastic seventh grade student. Her, stu her teachers say she is personally, has personality for days. Harper is very involved in school activities, is a talented percussionist and an artist, and be counted on to help wherever she is needed. Recently, Harper was frustrated with the school's Wi-Fi connection. That happens, doesn't it? So she organized the petition, gathered over 100 signatures, and met with the principal, and they basically created a plan to improve the technology there at Payne Junior High School. Congratulations, Harper. Yeah! Imaging Brockman from Perry High School, or Maggie as she's called. Please come forward. <laughs> Maggie's a multi-talented and hardworking student who exemplifies the Perry spirit with pride. She's president of the Best Buddies program and the Leo Club both. Both clubs promote service, friendship, and selflessness, and she has been a peer facilitator in the SPED classes throughout her high school, and has been, become an integral part in the lives of many, many students. Congratulations. Chase Duckett from Rice Elementary is next. Now Chase is a wonderful student. He deserves to be recognized. He has a huge heart and he's very friendly to every person he encounters. He's kind. 
He's considerate and always tries to do what is right. Congratulations, Chase. Next is Trinity Motley from Riggs Elementary. From the day that Trinity stepped foot on the Grace campus, she's been, made this school better with her attitude and her heart. Sure, she's a great student, but she's also more than that. Uh, Trinity quietly looks to make others feel better about themselves, and she's a friend of them all. Giving up a recess to be with them, a student that's not able to go to recess, seems to be easy for her, and most sixth graders would have a tough time doing, doing that, but Trinity sure can do it. Congratulations, Trinity. Next is Gage Patterson from Ryan Elementary. Now Gage is a uh, exemplary royal. He's a student council representative, a member of the flag troop, a safety squad leader, and one of the top helpers in Kids Express. Gage works hard in class each day, and uh, he always produces his best work, collaborates with others, and is the first volunteer if assistance of any kind is needed. Congratulations, Gage. Giovanni Manriquez from San Marcos, come join us. Now Giovanni is an active member of the KSMB news team and comes daily to help and, and is willing to fill in when others are absent. She's a kind student who has always been at San Marcos since kindergarten and is liked by all. Giovanna is also an active member of the student body and she's involved with Battle of the Books, Flag Crew, and represents San Marcos on the Cisse Puede soccer team. Congratulations. <laughs> Next from Sanborn Elementary, Bo Martinez Delci. <laughs> the thing that captures your attention, the thing that captures your attention about this Bo is not only he, all he does possess, all the character counts traits. He actually puts them into action on a daily basis. It's who he is at his core. Bo is a person that is a genuine, has compassionate spirit toward all people, and has integrity in, in everything he does. Congratulations, Bo. <laughs> Daffy Norman from Santan Elementary. <laughs> Daffy has a heart of gold, a desire to serve those in need, and loves her school. When a staff member was in need of help, she organized a bake sale for which she filled orders for baked goods that she personally made with her own funds and donated 100% of the proceeds to the staff member and her family. Congratulations, Daphne. <laughs> Next is Kane, uh, Kane Schneeberger from Santan Junior High. Kane's described as an amazing human. He works hard in the class and on the field and is a leader in both arenas. A cane shows amazing character by volunteering, participating, and most importantly, by always looking out for others. When someone needs help, they look to and choose cane. Congratulations. <laughs> Anthony Bata from uh, Shumway Leadership Academy. So Anthony is new to Shumway, but you would never know it. He jumped right in and got involved around class campus, joining students Lighthouse and helping out where needed. Anthony is kind and honest. He works super hard and always has a positive attitude. Being new to a school in sixth grade can be a challenge, we have to admit, but Anthony made it seem easy. Congratulations, Anthony. <laughs> Next is Tarwater Elementary's Gemma Lorgan. Gemma goes out of her way to be kind to everyone. She makes sure new people feel welcome and is friends with everyone. Gemma is an amazing student and always gives her best effort. She's involved in theater, volleyball, church, and voice lessons. On campus, she helps in kindergarten with sight words and dismissal. She's extremely empathetic and ensures everyone can rely on her. Congratulations, Gemma. <laughs> Caitlin Heaton from Weinberg Gifted Academy.
Caitlin is one of the kindest students at WGA and is always willing to help any classmates with anything. She participates in outside of class activities, establishes positive relationships with others, and shows a strong work ethic academically. She's the type of student every teacher wishes to have in their classroom. Congratulations, Caitlin. Well, Carla, guess what? You're the last student, come on up. Carla Felix from Willis Junior High School. Carla is described by her teachers as a role model, consistently kind and helpful in the classroom. She routinely assists her peers, demonstrates acceptance of others, and is actively involved in learning. In addition to her care and concern for classmates, Carla is an exceptional student, always doing her very best and making very good grades. Congratulations, Carla. Would you join me in one more round of applause for all tonight's student winners tonight? We know behind every 6L student are some uh, very encouraging parents. Would all the parents and grandparents of tonight's kids who are recognized, please stand up so we can apply to you as well. You must be very proud. Okay, volunteers, you see how the kids did it? Lining up to the right of the stage? We're gonna do the same thing. Is Carol Lang with us tonight? Carol, come on on stage, please join us. Carol has been a volunteer at Anderson Elementary for the last five years. Even though she has been unable to be in the classroom since March of 2020, she has continued uh, to give her time by working on things for the classroom while at home. She cut, glued, and laminated all with a big spa on her face. While in the classroom, Carol listens to thriving readers, participates in games, learning activities, and is the biggest cheerleader when students make progress toward their individual goals. We thank you, Carol. <laughs> Dan Anderson from Anderson Junior High School. Dan's last name is spelled differently than the school. He's an O-N, he's not an E-N, but he plays a role, a role in success for the weekend food program. Every week, Dan delivers bags of supplies to Anderson Junior High School School with a big smile and a happy heart. He is truly appreciated at Anderson Junior High School. <laughs> Mike Wright could not be here tonight, nor could uh, Carrie Chung, so we're gonna move forward to Katie Dial from Oxier Elementary. <laughs> Katie has gone above and beyond this year. As the PTO president, Katie works hard at all hours of the day to make sure teachers are appreciated and supported. She plans extra activities to help the staff appreciation, has gotten creative with other ways to hold events, raises funds for the school, and makes sure the treat cart is operational. We know how important that treat cart is, right? A lot of long days. Congratulations, Katie. Next is Joanne Weatheridge from Basha Accelerated Middle School. <laughs> Joanne has volunteered hundreds of hours to help the academic pentathlon program at AMS for AMS students. From uh, having no program three years ago to becoming the 2021 national champions, Joanne has been an essential figure in helping middle school students reach heights of achievement that were previously unimaginable. Congratulations, Joanne. Wow, 22 years as a volunteer? I just learned that uh, we have 22 years on the record as a parent volunteer. We want to thank you again. <laughs> Lauren Young from Basha Elementary School. Lauren is a PTO board member extraordinaire. She's been a member of the Basha L PTO for six years and makes sure the school is taken care of. She heads up the staff appreciation committee and makes sure they know their hard work is noticed and appreciated. Her creativity and passion for the Basha community knows no bounds. Congratulations. <laughs> Chris Baruvi from Basha High School could not be with us, but Lisa McInturf from Bogle Junior High School is here. 
Now Lisa's on her second round at Bogle Junior High School, her second child at Bogle. She serves as the boosters on the boosters as well as organizes the photocopy volunteers. She's been generous with her time and been willing to share her ideas in regard to how boosters can support the students and staff at Bogle. She remains in contact with the office staff when there are ch changes in the uh, pho photocopy scheduling so that administration can keep teachers in the loop. Congratulations, Lisa. <laughs> April Sterner from Bowen Elementary. April serves as a secretary on Bologna's PTO and works tirelessly beyond the scenes supporting students and staff any way she can. She copies for teachers and prepares classroom materials at home as needed. April has been known to use her own money to provide for kids in needs. She helps plan, organize, and run events to support fundraising for Bologna. Congratulations, April. Darlene Grays from Carlson Elementary. Darlene shows up with a smile on her face. <laughs> shows up with a smile on her face every day, giving her time to help the students and staff at Carlson. She is helpful in more ways than just copying materials. She's a true champion when it comes to volunteering. She cares not only about the kids at Carlson, but also about the staff, many of which she has gotten to know quite well. Thank you, Darlene. Yeah. Deanna Varela from Castile High School. Now, Deanna is the football booster president. We know that's a big job at the school, big program there. She gives 100% in everything she does. She coordinates the entire booster club, demands participation, and she gets it too. I'm not gonna say no to Deanna, are ya? Everything from coordinating game workers to player meals to zip tying signs, everything runs through Deanna. From Castile High School, Castile football program, and especially Mr. Ryan Riddenhaver. They can't thank her enough. Thank you. Rudy Garcia from Chandler High School. So I know what you're thinking. Rudy's got to be too young to be a volunteer, right? Well, Rudy was a 2020 graduate of Chandler High School and played four years in the soccer program. He graduated and joined the military to work on areas of his life. When he finished boot camp, he contacted the school about wanting to be becoming a volunteer for the boys' soccer program because he wanted to give back to a fellow Chandler High School student athletes. He's been a positive role model for the boys. Terry Gray from Conley Elementary. <laughs> Terry's an amazing volunteer at Conley. As part of the vice president and treasurer of the PTO board, she's extremely supportive of creating student events that will be exciting for all. She's constantly bringing positive fun and appreciation to the Conley staff. You'll see Terry working on campus in many aspects and lending a hand wherever is needed. Congratulations. <laughs> Lynn Ferraro from CTA Freedom. Is Lynn not here? Okay. Andrea Manning from CTA Goodman, come forward. Andrea is willing to go above and beyond the te for the teachers and community of CTA Goodman. Andrea has been a part of the Goodman community for many years and continues to be an asset for all staff and students. Andrea previously served as PTO president and is currently an active member of the site council and comes in to volunteer for teachers whenever she can. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> Megan Kostner from CTA Humphrey Elite Performance Academy. Now, Megan is one of the most selfless, most joyful people we know. She has given countless hours to the school, all while maintaining a full house and full-time job. She's always happy to give, help, or assist in any classroom or PTO project, while she never shies away from getting the job done herself. She's also a great at delegating, empowering others to want to participate as well. Congratulations, Megan. <laughs> Julie Salkwist from CTA Independence. Julie loves CTA Independence and all the kids. Not only was Julie helpful as a parent volunteer all these years, but she's also jumped in as the art masterpiece lead. She's a lifesaver and supporter to the independent staff. She goes above and beyond to always make the teachers feel important on hospitality days, staying the whole time, and insists we don't help her clean up. Amazing. Thank you, Julie. Leslie Oakson is not here tonight, but Marvin Hunter from Fry Elementary School. Please come forward, Marvin. Martin. 
By the way, is it Martin or Martine? Martin, okay, good, I got it. He, Martin shows up on time, he's dependable and eager to help work with the first grade students. He has a positive attitude and willing to help. Martin has such a fun and positive attitude which makes the students so excited to work with him. Congratulations, Martin. <laughs> Next is Janet Drez from Galveston Elementary. <laughs> She's got the boot, uh-oh. Janet volunteers at Galveston and makes positive connections with all staff and students. She's a ray of sunshine arriving with a smile and a happy greeting when she's on campus. Janet also is a positive, caring member of the community. She spent half the fall break hosting a neighborhood intercession that served many Galveston students. Congratulations, Janet. Be careful, guys. Fiona Driver from Haley Elementary is not here today. However, Make sure I miss a page here. We have Michael Redding from Hamilton High School. You may, you may recognize Michael. He taught in Chandler Unified for 20 years before retiring and moving to the volunteer status. He comes to the school at least four days a week to help with Hamilton High School Softball Academy. He's flexible and reliable. You can always count on him to be there for on time. Additionally, he makes, helps make practices fun and sometimes he even brings homemade snickerdoodle cookies. I like that. Congratulations. <laughs> Vanessa Barutha from Hancock Elementary. Not here? Not here. Okay. Uh, Hartford Sylvia Encinas' uh, Barbara Suit. Please come forward. <laughs> now, Barbara is the American Legion Post 91 president, and they're extremely involved in the school always thinking of the school and their needs. They consistently reach out to see what is needed. What can they do to help support Hartford, Sylvia, and Cenas? The uh, members work hard to raise money to support local initiatives, and the Huskies are very fortunate to have such a strong relationship with their friends of American Legion Post 91 and, and President Barbara Sue. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Debbie Nunley from Hull Elementary. Thank you. Oh, really? Debbie's an amazing volunteer. She always goes above and beyond to help wherever she is needed at Hull. She's kind and caring. Her compassion motivates students to do their very best. Hull Elementary School is lucky to have such a wonderful volunteer working with her students. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Leah Lang from Jacobson Elementary. Leah Lang is an amazing, wonderfully kind and creative person who goes above and beyond to help teachers and students at Jacobson. She's extremely organized, always inclusive, and gets uh, other volunteers excited about jumping in. Leah is a dependable and can always be counted on. The Jets are grateful for her service, her years of service. Thank you, Leah. <laughs> Shaman Higgins from Knox Gifted Academy is next. Shaman has been a guy in Knox mom since 2012 and has been an ongoing volunteer for countless programs. She's volunteer, she's served as PTO president, a treasured substitute teacher, and has played a central role in innovating the art masterpiece program. Shaman is one of the best advocates for the school, for children in the arts, is such a wonderful supportive of the district. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Amy Meskel. Come forward, Amy. Now, Amy has made the Nabaret Art Masterpiece Program her passion. We love her hours of volunteering to ensure the students have the experience of art in their learning and content. She's dependable, creative, smart, loyal, and committed to the community of learners. She accepts the responsibility of the Art Masterpiece Program as her own. Congratulations, Amy. <laughs> Trisha Cook from Patterson Elementary. <laughs> Trisha has been an amazing volunteer at Patterson. During COVID, she was not able to come into class, of course, but she was always helped the teacher by having things sent home with her student. She never once turned down a request from the teacher when she was asked to help. She willingly gave up her free time to help with all sorts of projects, including organizing the math books for kindergartners. Congratulations, Trisha. 
Cindy Collier from Payton Junior High School. Cindy's an amazing supporter of the junior high school students and staff and has poured countless hours every year for the school's mountain bike club. In addition to being a volunteer and coach for the team, Cindy travels throughout the state during the race season to provide encouragement, organization, structure, team camaraderie, and sometimes literal directions and first aid for this team. Congratulations, Cindy. <laughs> Tiffany Zemanski from Perry High School. No? Okay. Let's go on. Michelle Bingham from Rice Elementary School. Michelle supports, sta supports staff several times each week. She's seen regularly in the workroom, making copies for teachers and completing other teacher requested tasks. She works meticulously to help sure to make sure each task is done just as every staff member would want it. She is always kind and friendly when interacting with the staff. Congratulations, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle Quiroga from Riggs Elementary. Michelle is a parent volunteer at Riggs. You can tell she's very popular there. She uh, is known around the place as a, fun, a fundraiser, a fun, like F-U-N, raiser. Uh, she has helped to raise thousands of dollars through the annual Raise Craze. She sports a colorful tutu and inspires students to safely help raise students for the school. In addition to PTO duties, Michelle has seen where she can help with classroom duties, such as copying, etc. Congratulations, Michelle. Next is Julieta Castillo from Sanborn Elementary. <laughs> Julieta is always the first to volunteer with any classroom needs. She's quick to ask what students need to be successful. <clears throat> Julieta is also a talented uh, party decorator. I, like, I can imagine that, it's wonderful. Who has volunteered her talents for the third grade and Sanborn community. When the third grade had a special theme week to end first quarter, Julieta volunteered her materials and time to set a beautiful backdrop and decorations for the students to take photographs with their friends. She made the students' imaginations come to life. Congratulations, <laughs> Julieta. We have a tag team of Jamie Jackson and Natalie Pitzer. Please come forward from Santan Elementary. No. So Jamie Jackson and Natalie Pitzer stepped in this year to take over as co-art masterpiece program. It's a job that two people could easily do at Santan Elementary. At first, they hesitantly responded to Mrs. O'Neill's plea for help, and not long after, they jumped in with an abundance of excitement and enthusiasm. They were left with a closet of supplies that hadn't been touched in a year, a plethora of supplies for projects that are no longer need being taught. And while both had experience as classroom art masterpiece teachers, they were completely new to the role of coordinator, and they took it on like gangbusters. Congratulations. <laughs> Reba Hooten from Santan Junior High School is next. No. A Heather Perry from Shumway Leadership Academy. No. <laughs> okay, Lori Marsh from Tarwater. <laughs> so Lori organized the Tarwater Night under the stars and did an amazing job. This was a huge undertaking. She had a lot of activities and many members of the community were able to attend and enjoy the festivity. And Lori, they thank you for, with all their heart for all you did to make that happen. Thank you. Erin Wilkins from Weinberg Gifted Academy. Now Erin does not hesitate to help the school in any way. She's active with the PTO as well as any other school functions where volunteers are needed. She has a very positive attitude and is enthusiastic about being part of the WGA community. Congratulations Erin. And our last volunteer from Willis Junior High School, Cheryl Parent. <laughs> Cheryl
Cheryl has been very consistent and significantly involved in supporting the Willis Community Resource Room for the past three years. Her volunteer efforts include helping with the establishment of the resource room, welcoming parents during the parent workshops, shopping for supplies, stocking shelves, assembling food boxes for families, and assisting with making the holiday gift program successful. That's an integral part of that Willis Junior High School campus, and Cheryl, we can't thank you enough. Thank you. How about one more round of applause for all these awesome volunteers? Well, now we're down to the staff. So staff, you kind of figured this out, right? We watch the kids, we watch the volunteers. So will all the staff winners come over to the right of the stage. Angelica Ganchola, please join us on stage from Anderson Elementary. Angelica epitomizes what it means to be all in. This being only her third year on campus, she's gone above and beyond to establish relationships with students, family, staff, and the community. As a school counselor, she's built a rapport with each and every student. In a time where relationships are key, she goes above and beyond to ensure she continuously builds relationships with students. Congratulations, Angelica. Red Hari Erickson from Anderson Junior High School. Rada, as she's called, is a leader not only on the junior high school campus, but also in the district. She tackles so much behind the scenes to positively impact the junior high staff and students. Rada is the Anderson Junior High School Student Council uh, co-chair and leads the Anderson Junior High School Science Department as well. Rada mentors numerous teachers on campus and many note that she, they would not be the teacher they were without her support. Congratulations. Next is Myron Bluford. Please come forward. Now, Coach Bluford has been one of the leaders on campus that has added so much to the school culture. He not only is the head football coach, leading a program that has seen 200% growth in the five years of the program, he's also served as the lead marketing teacher and DECA advisor, a program that has grown exponentially during his tenure. He's a role model to all, students both, and a teacher and a coach. He's the epitome of an ACP Knight. Congratulations. Coach has got the best smile, doesn't he? <laughs> Next is Pam Par uh, Parich. Parzich from ACP Erie. ACP Middle School, which is located in Erie. Pam consistently goes above and beyond her job and often works unpaid hours just to make sure the students and staff have what they need. She knows all the students by name and has personal connections with them. If you ask almost any student, they will tell you how much they love her. Congratulations, Pam. Nilani Wilcox from Exeter Elementary. Now, Nilani leads by example with a kind heart. She always wants what is best for her kids. She's part of the uh, Veterans Day Committee, created and runs the Coffee Card, Equity Lead, a Wilson Train, Department Chair, and Team Lead. Too many hats for one person to wear in their first year of teaching a specially designed autism program. Lilani, you're, you're awesome. Thank you for all you do. <laughs> Ryan Brand from Basha Elementary School. <laughs> Ryan is a dedicated sixth grade teacher. He deserves a, a team lead. He serves as a team lead, equity team chair member, and is also one of the co-sponsors of student council. He works hard to provide a positive and learning environment for the sixth grade students by planning for lunch and, learn, and learns and hands-on activities and science cab. Ryan, congratulations. <laughs> Lena Kamek from uh, Basha High School. And uh, Lena deserves the Pride nomination because she gives excellent instruction, is a role model to her students, and is a fantastic sponsor who gives her time and talents to the students. She's taught in the district for over a decade, and her daughter has also worked as a foreign language teacher in the district as well. We love these teams, family teams. She makes her classroom and campus feel like a welcoming home for every student and faculty member with whom she interacts. Congratulations, Lena. 
Thelma Reynolds from Bogle Junior High School is next. So not only is Thelma apparently extremely popular, she's also a hard worker and really good at what she does. She's consistent and Bogle can count on her at any time. There are times the counselors are able to get important information regarding student conflict and other issues on campus. Thelma's created a safe space for students to share. Thelma greets students with a smile. She offers sound advice when they're not making the best choice. That happens once in a while, doesn't it? Congratulations, Thelma. Noelia Silva from Bologna Elementary. Now Noelia is an amazing educator. She's part of the dual language program, immersion program at Bologna Elementary. She's passionate about meeting every student's academic, social, and emotional needs. She works tirelessly to add finishing touches to every lesson to ensure her students have a memorable educational experience. Congratulations. Kathy Wiggers from uh, Carlson Elementary. <laughs> Kathy is an amazing educator who loves working with kids. She comes to work every day with a positive attitude and seeks to find ways to connect with her students. She's passionate about literacy and helping her students find the joy in reading. This extends beyond the classroom as she runs the Battle of the Books clubs for Carlson Elementary. She also previously spearheaded the Spelling Bee for the campus and Kathy has volunteered to be a part of the a committee. Congratulations, Kathy. Christine Diaz from Castile High School. Christine is, is described as the best media specialist ever who consistently goes above and beyond. She's amazing in every, every contact with students, but this year especially, she went above and beyond to honor the school's veterans and educate students by creating a living library event. The veterans event was phenomenal as it brought together students, staff, family, and local community members in a night of lively and informative dialogue, resulting in a greater appreciation for our veterans. Congratulations, Christine. Now, Jared Sturmer from Chandler High School is next. Jared is a freshman English teacher and is an outstanding teacher that goes above and beyond. He's able to engage above, uh, he's able to engage every student when he is teaching. He has a presence with his students that inspires them to reach higher and be successful. Jared sets the bar high and his students will respond to his expectations. He treats his students as professionals and they in return have a high regard for him. Congratulations, Jared. Next is Carol Capadona from Chandler Learning Center. Carol's very patient and approachable. She's kind and always willing to help and does it graciously. Carol is also knowledgeable, a great problem solver, and very supportive to all the needs of the staff. She will research the information the staff needs to help resolve work issues. Carol provides great feedback, and her enthusiasm for her job comes through in all she does daily. Thank you, Carol. Next will be Lori Bridges from Chandler Online Academy Elementary Connect. Go. Let's move forward. How about Paula Johnson from Conley Elementary? Come on, Paula. As a student services coordinator, Paula is constantly looking for ways to improve student success. She consistently works to find ways to help them succeed either in their academics, behavior, and friendships. One example is Paula's weekly friendship group in which she works to get students to understand what they should do socially to be able to work together in their classroom and in the playground environment. Congratulations, Paula. Next is Denise Halpin from CTA Freedom. Is Denise here? No. Nope. Teresa Anguis from uh, CTA Goodman. <laughs> Teresa is a dedicated teacher with a wealth of knowledge. While she leads an exemplary first grade classroom, she also has cheerfully taken on many responsibilities. This year, she's the Dibbles lead and provided continuous training for the K through three teachers. Teresa also participates in sponsoring various clubs on campus, such as Running Club, 
Moby Max, and oversees the social committee as well. Congratulations, Teresa. <laughs> Jose Gonzalez from CTA Humphrey, Elite Performance Academy. Now, Jose is asked to go above and beyond his job role every day. When he's radioed, he stops what he's doing and tends to uh, whoever needs him at that time. Whatever he's doing, he, he's, he'll change uh, places. He works tirelessly to make sure the campus is clean and covers his colleagues time and time again. He also covers uh, crosswalk duties and helps in the classroom, restocks workrooms, and always has a great attitude. Thank you, Jose. <laughs> Mariah Belchiva from CTA Independence. Mariah has served as a site custodian for the last two years and was recently promoted to the lead custodian. Mariah uh, takes immense pride in her work and deeply uh, cares about the school and keeping the campus clean for staff and students. Over the last several months, the school has been short staffed, but this has not stopped Mariah from keeping up high expectations for the building. Thanks for all you do. <laughs> Next is Doug Town from CTA Liberty. Now, Doug is one of the kindest people on campus. He comes to work every day with a smile on his face. He, he greets others with a good morning and how are you doing? He's proud to be a crossing guard at CTE Humphrey, keeping those kids safe. A lot of cars around CTE Liberty, aren't there? Uh, he does, I mean Liberty, I'm sorry, CTE Liberty. He, does, he doesn't stop there. If a teacher needs help with a kiddo, Doug is willing to uh, lend a hand. If a parent in the copy room has a big job, you know Doug is offering his assistance. So, Doug, we appreciate all you do. Okay, we have somebody behind the, behind the stage here, a certain Donna Nye. Come forward, please. Now, Donna Nye, she is the glue that holds the superintendent's office together. She serves as the administrative assistant for the superintendent and governing board, which means she has six bosses, by the way. And since she started in 2005, she has, had, she has served 10 board members, and always keeping them apprised, on task, and focused on serving our community and staff. Donna played an especially critical role this year, helping with the transition period for a new superintendent, replacing someone with 25 years of experience. Donna and I is the ultimate professional. Donna, we love you. <laughs> Next is Michelle Newton from Fry Elementary. Michelle is an exceptional teacher. She continually implements new and innovative ways to engage her class, and they love it. And they love her. In addition to building great relationships with her students, families, and colleagues, Michelle is always a team player. Fry is lucky to have her, and they appreciate all that she does. Congratulations, Michelle. <laughs> Next is Melissa Brown from Fulton Elementary. Melissa is a dedicated and accomplished teacher in fifth grade. She's extremely organized and well prepared for each school day. She's a great relationship with her students and always makes every child feel loved. Her kind heart and her ability to challenge her students makes her one of the best. She's a supportive teammate and always willing to help others. Congratulations, Melissa. Maria Villa from Galveston Elementary School. Maria is a para for kindergartners and a translator and a special education clerk. Maria is an essential member of the special education team, organizing and scheduling IEP meetings and student placements. As a translator, she helps families, students, and staff with facilitating communication and meetings on a daily basis. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> Spring Wilson from Ailey Elementary. Now, Spring has consistently demonstrated exceptional patience, professionalism, and kindness with her students. She's effectively managed her class with given challenges in a positive and resourceful manner. She provides a safe, exciting learning environment, regardless of obstacles that may be presented. Thank you, Spring. 
Next is Shelly Downs from Hamilton High School. Now Shelly is one of the most caring and genuine CUSD employees you'll meet. She goes above and beyond for student athletes, coaches, teachers, and parents. She always has a smile on her face and a positive attitude. She's the key to the school's successful athletics program. It's almost like having two athletic directors with one of all she does. Right, Britt Palmer? She's the true definition of what is meant to be a Husky. Shelly is simply amazing. Next is Amy Soto from Hancock Elementary. Amy is a ray of sunshine in the ca cafeteria. She greets students and Hancock staff members with a smile and a welcoming hello. How can I help you? Her customer service skills are top notch. When others seek assistance for a student in need, she always responds in a helpful way and does everything in her power to make sure the students receive a meal even when it's not on their meal time. Amy is always responsive to the needs of students and treats everyone with kindness and respect. Chris Nguyen. And my former student at Santan. This is a former student at Santan of Mr. Darnucci. Can you believe that? Isn't that fantastic? So next is Chris Nguyen of Hartford Sylvia Encinas. He's an amazing He's an amazing leader on campus. He lives and breathes Hartford. He works tirelessly to create meaningful connections with students, providing them with memorable experiences. He knows all the students and has relationships with each one. He genuinely cares about each student. Uh, besides organizing and collaborating with the traveling band and orchestra teachers, Chris also supports the Student Council, Mariachi Club, Chandler Children's Choir, Variety Show, Leader in Me Assemblies, and so much more. Chris is the heart of Hartford. All right, next is William King. William King from the Hill Learning Academy. So for the past 40 years, Bill King has been an asset to CUSD. Bill spent the majority of his career at Chandler High School and is currently the night custodian at Chief Hill Learning Academy. If you have been lucky enough to have met Bill, you have no doubt why he's the recipient of this award. Every day he reports to work with a smile on his face. He's quick to help with any task that is assigned to him. Each night he makes his rounds emptying trash and chatting. My staff members are still around, but he's very popular at Hill Learning Academy. We appreciate all you do. Dolores Larrick from Hull, uh, Hull Elementary. Dolores is a vital part of the whole classrooms. She has an abundance of patience to work with students who need extra love and support. She's always friendly and greets with a smile. She's dedicated and efficient at her job. Hull is very lucky to have her on their team. Dolores, thank you for all you do. Next is Leslie Hicks from the Instructional Resource Center. Now, Leslie is an advocate for teamwork at the RSC and throughout the district. As a former uh, CUSD graduate, she's homegrown, and CUSHS, a CHS alumni, uh, Leslie embodies what it means to be a strong supporter of CUSD in the schools. Leslie demonstrates initiative daily through her support of many programs and initiatives in the district, including the K-12 physical education teachers, K-12 SECL, curriculum rollout, mentoring program, and human growth and development education. Thank you for everything, Leslie. <laughs> Next is Stacy Martin from Jacobson Elementary. Stacy shines as a leader at Jacobson. She understands that all staff members face each day and works tirelessly to ease the stress. Her quick wit and fun personality bring a positive energy Whenever she goes, Stacy works hard to handle most of the discipline in the school. This is a challenging job to deal with every day as she approaches each situation with confidence and knowledge. Thank you, Stacy. <laughs> Lynn Barricott from uh, Knox Gifted Academy is next. Lynn has been an outstanding educator at Knox for the last 10 years. 
While building the program at KGA, Lynn has been instrumental with her vision, passion, and expertise of curriculum and instruction. Lynn has an ability to connect with each student and maintain amazing relationships with families. She's a true leader among her staff. She goes above and beyond to inspire others, spread thoughtfulness and kindness, and support her colleagues. Congratulations, Lynn. <laughs> Jennifer Bohan, next, from Navarrete Elementary. <laughs> Jennifer is a veteran teacher who provides quality instruction to all kinds of learners. She has welcomed all types of students in her class, as you might imagine. She's also gone above and beyond to meet the needs of her students and follow accommodations in their IEPs. She's a team player and collaborates with the special education staff to ensure that she's providing instruction to benefit all of her students. Congratulations, Jennifer. Next is Jean Pacek from Payne Junior High School. Now, Jean is a hardworking paraprofessional at Payne Junior High who's dedicated to serving others, both students and teachers. Jean follows classroom instruction with a desire to not only learn herself, but also to be the highest quality educational instructor for the students she works with. She even keeps a notebook in her pristine shape for anyone to look at to use for their organization. So, Janine, thank you for all you do. <laughs> Holly Cagle from Perry High School. Holly always speaks positively about Perry High School and the work being done in the Puma Nation. She works tirelessly every year on each grade level's ECAP and visits in improving instruction, content, and delivery. Holly is welcoming to all, always willing to help new counselors, staff, and students, and always has a copy of whatever is needed. Holly is always there. Congratulations, Holly. Jennifer Kramer from Rice Elementary. <laughs> Jennifer is a sixth grade teacher and a team lead. Jennifer co-sponsors student council, has made uh, service and servant leadership the foundation of the student leadership program. She puts in countless hours helping Stugo um, organize food drives, toy drives, fundraisers, and other school spirit days. Rice has grown to depend on the student council's help for school related events. Jennifer, we can't thank you enough. Next is Joni Order from Riggs Elementary. Now, Joni's going to retire this year, so the board may not approve that uh, retirement this year. Is that, is that correct? You, you go either way, Joni. <laughs> anyway, no, seriously, she is so compassionate, energetic, and loves working with students. She's an advocate for her coworkers and what the staff needs. Her voice is always respectful and professional. She is not afraid to ask tough questions, but she really tries to understand different perspectives. Joni's, Joni fights for her students and their needs. She really listens to her students and teaches each one individually. Thank you for all you continue to do, Joni. Next is Lisa Edwards from Ryan Elementary. Lisa Edwards has established an amazing counseling program at Ryan Elementary. She's created a safe, welcoming space in her office where students feel valued and cared for, listened to and loved. She hosts a number of different groups, including an anxiety group, ADHD group, mindfulness group, and her friendship group, to just to name a few. Her vision and commitment to putting together a mindfulness room has proven to be instrumental in helping all of the students. Thank you, Lisa, for all you do. <laughs> Melissa Dugan from San Marcos Elementary. Melissa has been a wonderful asset to the school. Melissa is the parent liaison, but it doesn't stop there. She's, she packages and delivers food bags for kids in the food program. She was instrumental in helping students receive free shoes and socks. Melissa is always willing and available to help students, parents, teachers, and the community with kindness. Thank you for all you do, Melissa. <laughs> Next is Ashley Nelson from Sanborn Elementary. <laughs> Ashley 
Ashley's an amazing teacher on campus and always comes to school with a positive attitude and willingness to help anyone. She's dedicated to her students as well as the entire school. Ashley's the grade level team lead and the multi-tiered system supports team lead. Ashley is very knowledgeable about the MTS SIS process and is quick to respond to any questions staff members may have. Ashley, you're amazing. Thank you for all you do. <laughs> Next is Jennifer Gardner from uh, Santan Elementary. Jen has been an asset to Santan Elementary through her efforts in the classroom, as well as junior achievement, team lead, temporary team lead, and so much more. Jen has gone above and beyond the call for a classroom teacher and coworker. During the first quarter and into the second quarter, Jen became the temporary team lead for her grade level, completed plans for herself and another classroom, organized copies, and helped with grading for another teacher who was out on medical leave. Jennifer, you're amazing. <laughs> Donna Gustafson from Santangier High is next. So Donna is an outstanding teacher who designs creative and challenging lessons for her students. She teaches both 7th and 8th grade social studies and is a curriculum leader in both departments. Donna contributes her special skills with ease. Donna is also a lead on the Google site team, serves on the Storm Hour curriculum committee, and is an academic lead for the Gifted Academy team. Donna, thanks for all you do. <laughs> Jamie Ria from Shumway Leadership Academy. Jamie has been a pillar in some way for the last 10 years. Jamie is consistent in her support of her education. She never shies away from a challenge. She volunteers her time at school events, such as the Harvest Festival, or in the Lighthouse, and attends PTO meetings. She's always had uh, Shumway staff breakfast sponsored on more than one occasion. She's an, an invaluable member of the Shumway Leadership Academy team. Thank you, Jamie. Next is Guadalupe Valdez Guerrero from Student Services. Guadalupe has done an exceptional job in relationship to custodial duties. The inside of the building sparkles with cleanliness and even consistently delivers faint aromas of the cleaning product fragrances when entering the building. It smells clean. Don't you love that smell? I wish my house smelled as good as the school did there. Uh, furthermore, Lupe is uh, kind and social. He goes above and beyond to uh, greet and interact with those he encounters throughout the buildings each day. He checks to see if any extra custodial needs are required in work areas. So, well, Lupe, we appreciate all you do. <laughs> Dolores Rowan from uh, Tarwater Elementary. No, how about Raymond Telewiz from Transportation? Yeah, he's here. Raymond has been with the district since 2012. He's an assist to the department. He's always involved in a variety of projects for transportation. He helps in training for new drivers and works to coordinate and promote team building activities for, our, for the department. He's a positive influence for the students on his bus. And thank you, Ray, for all you do for the children of our district. <laughs> David Terrace from the warehouse. Nope. Okay, we have... Next is Carolyn Raggetts from uh, Weinberg Gift Academy. <laughs> Carolyn tirelessly promotes the arts, leadership, and the school spirit through her personal, uh, her own passion for uh, performing arts, actually anything art. She encourages every student to try new things, to be brave, and to be proud of whatever she has accomplished. They have accomplished. She's put on a performances for the school and parents this year as well. Recently, she brought in performing artists to inspire the fifth and sixth graders without an outdoor performance. And Carolyn uh, actually was a teacher of one of my kids, and <laughs> cats gifted at Anderson Elementary back in the day. And you survived my my son, so you know <laughs> we can appreciate that. Thank you, Carolyn, for all you do. <laughs> okay. Guess what? We have one last staff member to recognize. It's Jonna Reynolds, and this quarter, Jonna, who was impacted by unexpected circumstances and not only soared above the challenge, was defining its rules. She provided stability and safety for some of the most vulnerable students. 
Jonas uh, Runnels is a Willis asset. In addition to her work in the Read 180 classroom, she helps promote reading and keeps things running in the media center when she is serving there. She processes books, monitors student behavior at lunch, recommends and checks out books to students, and models the core values at the school. So we appreciate all you do. And, and thanks for your perseverance tonight for waiting this out for an hour and a half. Oh, one more round of applause for all the, uh, all the staff members tonight. That concludes tonight's recognition. We want to uh, ask you to join us in the foyer. We've got some refreshments out front, and uh, thank you for making Chandler Unified your choice of schools. Thank you.